Time is not measured by the years that you live, but by the deeds that you do and the joy that you give. When I was little, I don't remember how exactly I am. I love to sit alone, read alone, and during recess, I don't play. I study. I got good grades in school. Every year, my parents has to pin me a ribbon or a medal. I can't even remember I have friends I played around with except for few. My playmates are my younger brothers, because that time, my youngest sister was not born yet, or shall I say, she was our little baby. In short, I am a very quiet and introvert little girl. Even then, I love reading. I love writing. Years had passed, and high school life is a bit more fun and challenging. I'm still a quiet girl who loves to study, but I get bullied too. Until one day, bullying is no longer existed to me. When one boy classmate bullied me, I stood up in front of the whole class. I recall everything he did to me. He is a bully to anyone in the class, but he is more bully to me because I don't fought back. I ignored it and cried it out. But that day, I was in third year high school, I had to do something. So after I stood up, I pointed him with my index finger and say, You! How many more years you're going to bully me? Since first grade up to this day, you really love bullying people, especially me. What did I do wrong to you? Are you not ashamed of yourself that among your classmates here, you are the tallest, you are the biggest? Is that your way to be recognized? Why? Don't you have friends? May I ask you one thing? Why a huge boy like you loves to bully little ones? Is that where you get confidence from? From being the tallest and the biggest? Is that how your parents raise you? Well, I had enough, I said. From the moment I speak up, everyone listens and I can see him sitting still. His face is burning red. After that very moment, I hear my classmates say, Wow, for the first time, someone stood up. Some of them clap their hands and say, That's the spirit. I can't believe you can do it. And after what I did, I gained confidence. My classmates who do not talk to me start talking to me, and I even gain friends, and no bullies anymore. And every day at school, when we crossed paths, we av he avoided me. He will go to a different way. I won't give way. He does. Until one day, there was a group of project, and he is one of my members, so I really gave him a job to do. He was reluctant, and then one day he said sorry for everything he has done, and that was the start of the friendship. When I see him sometimes, I call him, hey bully, and he laughed and said, not anymore now, we are friends, right? It was a lesson. That was the start of my journey as the real me as well. From the very quiet, still lady to a very talkative and loves to laugh lady. 
and I gain a lot of friends because of that. So, this is me. I always stood up for what I do not fear. I think that's one thing I have learned in the past. My only wish for everyone is to have confidence and always stood up from not fearing to be strong. A piece of advice to everyone else, never stop trying to be the best you. Hi, my name is Pinky Rose and my friends call me Star and I am the Philippine Wandering Fox. <laughs> I would like to thank all my friends who's been there for me in every ups and downs of my life and thank you for all these beautiful ladies who's been with me on a very special day. I'm very surprised for the cake. I'm not a 
on this part i just want to thank god for blessing me beautiful people beautiful friends who really had fun and really enjoyed having time with me in advance birthday and i'm so blessed to have them in my life and i'm so blessed to have received a surprise gifts or a surprise cake for me i didn't expect that and it was full of fun though my stomach really hurts it was so bad and i really can't help myself but enjoy and have fun and take all the time to be happy take all the time to forget everything just for one day and just for once so that time it was raining hard and we can't go anywhere except for um, sitting there chit-chatting talking laughing and f eating food and sometimes I don't know and I don't think what am I eating because I have a uh, tummy ache and I wanted to eat something that will help my tummy ache go but then I could not help it I still had a lot of fun having fun and eating lots of food with them so I'm so grateful because they celebrated with me and I just want to thank God as well for giving me another year giving me this beautiful year of my life and I'm so blessed still blessed and I know that this pandemic will go away very very soon and let's just hope and pray for that thank you everyone so si Ashley may binigay na regalo sa akin another gift from this lady what's up Robin? open the gift can I open the gift? open the gift Surprise! <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ashley. 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 Oh, I'm gonna do my I like it. 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 I like it.
bagay sa kamay niyan. Ayan, lalong kukuti yung kamay mo. Ayan lang, hindi. Kami ka bang tumatagal? Uy, magkakang beer dito. Uy, kagar mo kay at least. Hindi pa rin. Uy, dami kong ganda. Ano? Oh my goodness, I love, I love so hard because there is a part that I complained about a small gift, a tiny gift that my friend said that was supposed to be for me. But then, then in the video, I complained because I wanted a small one, a tiny, tiny bear. It's a... It's like a keychain, but it's yeah, it's not. And and then I said, why is it the small one, the tiny one is her, is in her, and why do I have a big one? So, anyways, that was for fun. And then another friend said, why are you complaining? You just be great. You just you must be thankful because there is something for you. Well, actually, guys, this is me. I always make fun. So, nothing serious. When I say things, except for I'm really serious, then that's the time I'm serious. But if I say things and I laugh, then that means I'm kidding. But sometimes, it just came out from my mouth. I didn't do it purposely, but it came out naturally. So, please, be kind to me and be patient to me and <laughs> be generous to me. Because this is how crazy I am and this is what my life is and this is what I wanted to share with you because some of you didn't know me and of course some part of me most my friends most of my friends have known and most of you didn't so this is just part of me and hope you guys enjoyed it and have a blessed day